Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the interior of the mansion build and we are starting off with the kitchen which turns out to be kind of huge uh, and the living room is it's not that big. Um, I kind of disappointed because I wanted it to be uh, like the size of the kitchen or even bigger but uh, I couldn't make it work so the living room is kind of small but um, we have some places uh, some other rooms where you can uh, watch TV and also a play area for the kids so I mean I'm not too bothered about it but um, yeah the kitchen is pretty big. We also have a fireplace in the kitchen, which is nice. But right here, I'm just uh, putting up some shelves and also uh, trying to clutter the place up because I'm kind of imagining the family who is going to live here. And I don't think they care about... I mean, they care about how the house looks, but uh, it's going to be a lot of clutter around the house which I feel like every house has unless it's like super strict and super modern but uh, for this house I wanted it to be traditional and yeah cluttered up so uh, I'm basically done with the kitchen I'm just putting some items here and there and I also put a uh, table where you can eat in this kitchen but I also have a more of a formal dining place which is right next to the uh, entrance of the house so here I'm just picking out some items to put on the shelf and I use a lot of time doing that so I'm going to cut some of it out because I feel like cluttering the place doesn't uh, it's not that exciting and also the bathrooms I think I could have cut out most of the bathrooms because this this uh, video is quite long and um, there are rooms that are more exciting than a bathroom bathroom so but I think I included some of it in the screenshots uh, so yeah here I'm doing the first dining area and trying to find a table that match the countertops and also changing the floors but as for the rooms there are eight bedrooms uh, I think three of them are for girls I think one is for a child and then two teenage girls and I also have uh, three bedrooms for the boys. Um, I think one of the bedrooms are for uh, a child and then also two teenage boys. And I also have a guest bedroom or a bedroom for a grandparent and also a, a bed for the butler. But I mean, you can decide for yourself who you want to have the different bedrooms but that's just what I imagine and I also have uh, pet beds and food bowls and such so you can also add a pet in if you want to but um, I mean it's a pretty huge house and uh, if you want three girls three boys and a married couple or the parents and also a grandparent that would be nine sims and um, that's not possible uh, so what I imagine is that there is only one parent either the mother or the father and then you have either a grandma or a grandpa or I don't know that's just what I thought when I was building this house. Um, but right here we are doing the study nook in the living room. And as you can see, the living room isn't that huge. 
but I wanted it to be next to the kitchen and I already already decided when I built this that I wanted the kitchen to be there so it is what it is and uh, here I'm just clutter cluttering up the um, study nook I'm not really sure when I use the show hidden objects cheats but um, you can find some really nice stuff to put on the shelves in there or just clutter items in general um, but uh, I don't think I use them just yet. And also there are many seating places in this uh, house. Is it called seating places? Um, either way, I used a lot of chairs. Like you can see in this dining area, you have some shelving and chairs. Because there are a lot of uh, empty places or just hallways you have to put some furniture in or else it looks kind of empty and I think that's what I was struggling with the most just filling out the empty places so I'm not happy with all of the empty places but um, I think it turns out in the end and also I put in some uh, pet items just to fill out the places and here we are working on the children play nook or playroom which uh, is kind of colorful um, comparing to the other rooms at least so I wanted it to be um, I wanted it to be a lot of uh, not exercises what's it called I wanted it to be a, a lot of things to do in this house. Uh, we have a, a gym for instance and we have two bar areas and uh, yeah I just wanted it to be a lot to do in this house because when you have such a big house you don't just want it to be like 10 living rooms and yeah if you know what I mean but um I'm soon done with the playroom and there is uh three stair stair stairways stair there are three stairs up to the second um floor but here is the grandparents room or grandparent room I was talking about so I went for kind of like a mint color scheme in here and I think this room is really cute and uh, I imagine there to be a grandparent which takes a lot of care of the kids and uh, it made sense to me to put the grandparent room downstairs um, since the rest of the bedrooms are upstairs except for the butler room which is on the other side of the house next to the um, next to the to the gym but here I'm starting off with the uh, kind of the second no it's not really a living room either it's a study and there are couches and I don't know what to call this room really I just wanted it to I didn't want to leave any rooms empty um, so you can turn this room into whatever you want if you download this house maybe be a little bit more creative than than I am I kind of wanted it to be a art studio but I feel like I've done that so much lately that I just thought I made it into a study living area and since the first living room was kind of small uh, I decided to have some couches in here one thing that surprised me with this build is that it took so long to furnish I don't think I ever have built such a huge build um, or if I have it's been a modern build and I don't think you need so much 
items and furniture in a modern build. I don't know, that's just me though. Um, but I really enjoyed furnishing it. It's just that it took so much time. I was going to post this build, uh, not this build, this video out uh, a couple of days ago, but since it took so much time, I I just decided to take my time and uh, really make it pretty or just be happy with the results. So on this end of the house, we are having the gym and the butler, oh my god, butler room. And also where you see the bricks is uh, kind of like the place, uh, yeah, this room. I decided to make it a dining place, make it kind of a romantic place, I don't know. But on the other room that's similar to this one, I had no idea what to what to do with it because it's an area that's kind of inside but also on the outside uh, so I'm not used to furnish that kind of rooms but um, here I am working on the gym and it's quite simple um, I don't think I put so much furniture in this room. Uh, just uh, putting some items on the shelf. And also using the wardrobes from, I think it's Spade, which I'm not used to uh, put in my bills, but I think it's because it's under the category, category um, on what's it called it's under a strange ca category at least so it's not something I just see and put in the build if that makes sense now I'm just rambling but um, here is one of the bathrooms that I'm showing and as you can see it's quite small and not that it that exciting so the rest of it will be cut out but here I am working on the butler's room and I have to say it's kind of fancy and also really nice so I think this butler is pretty lucky to have this room but um, if you wish it can also be one of the grandparents room or the parents room or whatever I just find it kind of strange if it if it is the parents room because um, the master bedroom is really nice I would love to have that room um, you will see it when we get to it but uh, here we are up in the second floor and uh, there are a lot of uh, hallway space or I'm not sure what to call it but um, it's the nooks I'm struggling with what do you put in those I think up here, yeah, I put an easel and also a karaoke machine, I think, which I never use. Um, so I feel like I just put, put out some items and cross my fingers to um, make it look good. I feel like my go-to when there is an empty wall or empty space is bookshelves and some chairs um, but never a karaoke machine so that's new but um, you have to change it up a little right so there it is there is the karaoke machine and I think we are on to the teenage boy room next if I'm not mistaken yes so here is the teenage boy room which is kind of messy i wanted it to look like a typical teenage bedroom um you know i also think i put in a tv in here if i'm not mistaken and this is going to be the second teenage boy room i think if i remember correctly but um, yeah, 
I always feel like I make the voice room always blue. And I don't know why, because I feel like maybe red is also kind of a go-to color. But uh, I think it's difficult to mix it up a little bit. Uh, so it's really blue and I think the girl bedrooms are pretty pink and and purple as well so well so it's a little bit of a stereotypical stereotypical uh, color scheme when it comes to the girls and boys bedrooms but um uh, but you can change that as well if you want to and uh, if you want to download this build I am going to post it at uh, uh, x rainwith x which is my origin id and something strange about the gallery is that it's uh, so basically the gallery says that my builds has custom content which it has not but if you want to find this build you have to uh, cross um, or s search for custom content even though it has not custom content that's kind of confusing but uh, yeah but now we're on to the bathroom and again the bathroom is not that exciting it has bath, a shower, a toilet, a sink, everything you need basically. And the only place to do laundry is downstairs by the front entrance. Um, and I also put, uh, what's it called? Um, the washing basket, which you can use at the outside. And uh, yeah, if you don't like to do laundry, you can just delete it, delete the washing machines. But remember, there is also uh, a place to wash your clothes on the outside. But here we have a, uh, not a second, but it's another um, kind of strange place. I didn't, I didn't really know what to put in here as well but I ended up putting in a chess table and uh, I think a guitar and also a small bar which is the second bar in this house um, I feel like this house is really a social place as well um, and uh, in the other end of the house, I feel like it's uh, a place for teenagers to hang out as well, uh, where the second bar is. Um, but I'll talk about it when we get there. But here is the small bar place, and right next to it is going to be the master bedroom, and also a bathroom, and the two teenage girls. No. Uh, a child's bedroom both girl and a boy and uh, I was really excited to use this uh, oh what's it called the music uh, the one from get famous I never used it before so I was glad I could use it in this build and I also throughout this whole build struggled to find wallpapers that I wanted to use um, because, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I've used all of the wallpapers that is in the game and I don't want to repeat myself too much. Uh, so I don't know, but I love using the bricks, uh, on some walls. But here I am with the kids' bedroom, which is pretty purple. And uh, and uh, I mixed up the wallpapers in here at least. Uh, but I really like this room. Um, 
it's really cozy and I decided to have this uh, uh, kids girls bedroom um, pretty close to the master bedroom as well as the uh, other kids room for me it makes sense because then the teenage bedrooms will be on the other uh, side of the house so it's kind of like their own area so yeah and um, I was thinking about changing the colors because I don't really like when things are too matchy matchy um, I tend to do that a lot in my builds whereas if uh, I have a blue bed, I need to have blue curtains, I need to have a blue rug, which is not realistic. I talked about this, I think it was on the last house build I did, where I tend to go for the safe option, where the items match all the time, and it's not realistic. Um, and also the wood tones that uh, they don't necessarily match all the time in real life either so but I I don't know it's just good for the eyes to see that uh, furniture match and such but here I am to the boys room and again I went for a blue color scheme um, I was going to make these walls yellow, but I do think I, ch I changed that in a little while. And I wasn't really sure about the gray walls either, but um, I kept it in the end. However, I'm not too happy about it when I took the screenshot. But um, again, I really struggle with the wallpaper, so yeah, I just let it be gray. And uh, in this room, it's going to be, again, a lot of clutter um, and also some posters and yeah, this room also has its own bathroom. I don't think I show, show me furnishing it, but um, again, it's not that exciting, but here I am changing the wallpapers. I thought that looked way more nice um, and I also put a desk in here and a wardrobe and a mirror and I love this uh, yellow color which matched the uh, bed pretty nice and uh, I really want to use these shelves but I feel like they don't fit um, or I don't know I never use them but they are kind of nice so I get mad when I don't want to use them if that makes sense <laughs> but here we are with the master bedroom and I have to say I really really love this bedroom um, again there is a lot, of, a lot of empty space but I managed to furnish it pretty well in my opinion um, and I also wanted this place to or this room to have a fireplace so I did put a um, or how should I say it you will see it when I do it I don't know how to explain it but here I was thinking this to be kind of like a makeup area um, and uh, here I just yeah put in those walls to make it look like a proper fireplace but there is also going to be a door from the master bedroom to the bathroom I don't know how ideal it is uh, when you think of people who is going to use it you, ha you will have to lock both doors that is the sims it's okay 
and I feel like the color scheme for this room is really not strict but I kept it kind of yellow or gold and blue again uh, but I think it's pretty nice and also a sitting area um, I feel like this bedroom is kind of uh, expensive looking if I can say so compared to the rest of the build anyways but here I am working on the second bar area uh, and this room is huge so I decided to make it into a teenage hangout place I don't know um, or maybe even a place to have a party but here I am uh, putting out some debug items and I found a lot of glasses which I think the sims will pick up and clean but um, it's it's kind of funny just to I don't know place those items I think it looks cool anyways and again I struggle to find items to put in the corners and such and I mentioned my go-to is bookshelves and and chairs but also plants and lamps is really nice to use and I also put this uh, um, DJ booth I think it's called right here not that one. I will find it soon. Not that one either. There you go. And um, I just imagined this house to be a place where you can work on all the different skills a sim can have. Um, so we have the DJ booth, we have the gym. Um, so you can work on your DJ skills and also your um, active skill but uh, in the other corner of this room I also have a place where your sim can stream yeah this uh, corner where your sim can stream or uh, make videos and uh, yeah because I I didn't want to put another seating area so I thought why not um, but again there's a lot of empty space but again isn't that kind of realistic I don't know uh, and for this room the color scheme is really green and brown uh, but I kind of like it so here we are working on the teenage girls room and as you can see they are kind of closed off uh, so this part of the room is going to be um, kind of like a red and blue themed bedroom and the other side is uh, a little bit more girly pink and blue and such and I imagine the area where the uh, oh what's it called uh, the the other room is going to be the walk-in closet which they share so I know it's a shared bathroom no bedroom but um it's I don't know it's kind of closed off so I think it's fine um, but yeah as I said this bedroom is pretty girly and um, I used uh, some kitchen yeah right there to close it off a little bit more than it already is and I think it worked out pretty pretty nice and uh, here I'm working on a desk area 
Um, not so much more to say about it. The uh, other door is leading to a bathroom. So they have a own bathroom as well. But here is the walk-in closet. Um, just put in a closet and a place to sit and a big mirror. And uh, the room I'm going to start on now is the other teenage boy room. Which actually is not blue. It's green and then um, brown. And this bedroom as well is going to be pretty messy. And if you're wondering what this house is worth, it's 400,000 simoleons or 4.5 thousand simoleons. So it's on the expensive side, but uh, it's what you it's what you would expect with this uh, huge house and the uh, clutter items are really expensive and also landscaping. But when it comes to the landscaping, I don't think I put so much plants uh, on the outside. Um, but I did put a lot of items uh, and decorations. So yeah, it's an expensive house. So I think you'll have to use sheets uh, to buy this. But now we're working on the outside of the house and I loved placing this, uh, it's not a trailer, I don't know what it's called in English, but I found it in the de debug menu, so I decided to use it. And as well as the inside, the outside, outside has a lot of uh, sitting places, um, but um, since the outside is pretty huge, you'll have to uh, furnish the empty places. And here I'm just placing a water fountain and using uh, or placing some plants around to make it look a little bit nicer. And uh, I think I cut out some parts of the furnishing on the outside as well because I used a lot of time just filling out some empty places and it becomes a little bit repetitive. Um, but right here I did something I thought was kind of cute. I made like a tea party uh, place for the kids. So I just sized down the table and chairs and also those teddy bears to make it look like they're having a tea party. I thought that was kind of cute and uh, I struggled a little bit with placing some of the items like you can see here uh, but it didn't bother, bother me too much. Uh, so yeah I thought that was kind of cute and here I'm just placing some more items and uh, I think I placed, yeah, I was trying to fit a water slide, but it didn't work. But I do think I placed some swings for the children. Mm. And also this item, just not right there. Um, and also there is a lot of uh, plant boxes. Uh, or pots or what you call them and I really wanted there to be a hot tub in here it's not the most ideal a place to put it but I couldn't find another place to have it so I don't know it kind of turned out nice kind of um, and uh, yeah, just placing some more items. And here I'm just making a dining area and also some more seating places. Um, 
at this deck I didn't know what to put exactly but I do think I placed a dollhouse and some other children toys or activities and um, I also moved up some curtains in this area to make it look like you can close this area off if you want to I thought that was kind of nice and next to this area I was placing the um, the big children's uh, play ship kind of thing I don't know what to call it I'm struggling to find words today but um, yeah I'm just placing some debug items again um, and also, also some more skill building items and here I'm working on the barbecue area and also put in um, a bar outside as well since it's the place for it so I feel like the only thing this place is missing is a basement but again there is so many rooms on the actual build that I didn't think it was necessary um, so yeah and I also wanted it to be a movie theater theater but um again it's just not necessary. I was trying to fit one here, but the TVs are too big to place on this wall, so I decided not to. But um, I think it's nice, anyways. And um, the next next thing I'm going to work on, I think it's the pool. No, so we started on the um, I don't know, uh, skill building for dogs. I don't know what to call it. But um, I think this area is kind of cute. It's not often I put in these kind of things for the pets. So with the pool, I kept it really simple. I did put on some fountains and some lights and some chairs. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. And uh, I think we're on to the glass house. Yeah. So again, I put in a lot of uh, pots and uh, uh, places to grow your plants. And I really enjoyed furnishing this glass house. Is it glass house? It's called, I'm just going to call it that. Um, and I also put in this flower decoration area. And I am going to put in some chairs and just a lot of clutter again and uh, the color of some of the items becomes so strange when it's on a diagonal because this room is on a diagonal and as you can see the uh, plant box from Seasons it has such a weird shadow to it um, and also like countertops on diagonal is so strange and also roofing and I think it's just a little bit strange. Um, that's why I don't build on a diagonal that much but I decided when it's a glass house it doesn't have so much to say either way so. Now I'm just putting out some final touches to the outside and I think we're on to the screenshots. So if you enjoyed this build, please leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I will try to post a little bit more frequently. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!